What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Modes Film Session, and today, we're going to talk about Terrell Edmonds, baby, and ultimately, why, if he really wanted to switch to play linebacker in somebody else's defense, particularly a 4-3, he legitimately could. Here a couple of plays to show you why. Hit that like button on the way in. Hit the subscribe button on the way out. But either way, here he goes. That was him circled right there. Let's play it in full speed and talk about it. Yeah. Because this dude right here. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 So, let's break it down, man. Let's break it down. So, first off, I'll play this a little bit further. But when we're talking about the difference of a 3-4 versus 4-3, on this particular setting right here, this is a true 4-3 type look. And with that being the case, the way it's gapped out is like this. Highsmith takes that C gap, that puts Cam right here in the B gap. Ogan Joby in the A. And then you obviously have TJ with the C gap, okay? So from a um, run fit standpoint, that would mean, okay, if play went outside, if the run was this way, Devin would have the force. Then from there, Spillane is going to that front side B. Edmonds in that back side A, all right? Now, if obviously run is at them, then everything would come to first. Edmonds has sent it back to Spillane and company. But the thing that I like is this. The way the Steelers wanted to play this was by ultimately defining it for Edmonds. And they did that by just sending Robert Spillane to that A gap right now, okay? But what you get also is a puller on the backside, 63. So even though we're thinking, hey man, we wanna go to this direction, because this puller is coming towards Edmonds, he knows, man, I don't have to be in a rush right there. And that's a natural read for him. His vision takes him there, all right? But from there, I like the fact that he shuffles, he stays square. Now watch the pad level and watch him. He's not nervous. This is one-on-one -on -one in the hole. Mano y mano. Now, the thing is, if he waits back here, 63 becomes a little bit more of a factor. 30 also has a little bit more wiggle room to make him miss, but he doesn't wait. He goes and gets it, and ultimately, boom, that's a big-time tap of one-on-one -on -one in the hole. As a will linebacker in a 4-3 defense, he would be free like this the majority of the time because he would be covered up. But... Like I said, we don't run this predominantly, but this week we were doing some of those things. And like I said, man, to just see him when he's able to be a free player in the box like this, he can read this puller. He can read run action. And ultimately, he is a sure tackler. That is one of the best things that Terrell Edmonds brings to the table is his tackling ability. And right there, you see him one-on-one -on -one in the hole. And just for you know conversational purposes, I will rewind this back to just show you if he does not make this tackle, what it would look like. Yeah, you got Sutton out here. You got Minka back here. That's a lot of grass. <laughs> but shout out to Edmonds being a short tackler, meeting him in the hole. We ain't tripping on it, baby. We are not tripping on it, but let's go. That's the first play. Oh, now I like this play because this is for the crowd that is always like, yo, Edmonds, man, he's a safety. He's too little. I do agree. I would like him to have a little bit more weight on him if he was gonna do this full time. But even right now, he's more than capable, more than strong enough. And this play right here shows it. Can he take on a block? Can he shock, lock, shed, and then come off and make a tackle? Well, let's watch three, four right here, man. And you tell me what you see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Woo, child, don't see, this how you messed up, Edmonds. You put it on tape. Don't put this on tape for Mosey to see, because now I'm over here and I'm hunting something. I'm like, wait a minute, we might be on a shot, player, player. But I like this because first off, man, for Edmonds, he's getting run action at him. So, when we talked about some of the, uh, when we talked about the other play, you know, he was the free defender. He was just tackling practice, right? Whereas right here, this is a little bit different because now he has somebody that's actually accounting for him. That's their starting left guard. And he sees Edmonds one-on-one -on -one right here in the hole. And like I said, man, it is run action at them. They are trying to hit this thing right here, okay? Thing I like is this, though. For Edmonds, he doesn't panic. You see him do what? Hands. 
He gets it. You're not going to defeat a blocker by just running into him with your shoulder or trying to headbutt him. You're not going to beat this blocker trying to run around him. In this particular uh, situation, you have to initiate the contact, drive your feet, hat and hands, and that's how you defeat this block. And you see those fundamentals right here from Edmonds. Man, dude, look at this right here. This is a power angle, and this is a guard, starting left guard in the NFL. This is your safety, Terrell Edmonds, walking him back. Winning the line of scrimmage, setting a edge. He's essentially a three technique right now. He's become Cam Hayward on this play by pulling this plate up versus the left guard. Remember that, okay? Now, what does he do? Is he content with just setting that? No. Now, let's go be a playmaker. Watch him get off. Now, I will work on his block release a little bit more. That's the details that he has to get better at. But in terms of him sticking his face in there, ultimately getting in there on the tackle, dude, what are we looking for? That's what you want. That's definitely what you want right there. But beautiful job right here, man. I love the angle. Outside in, hat in hands, driving his feet, win the grass, then get in there and be a playmaker. He done put it on tape. He done put it on tape. Oh, baby. Now, this last play right here just simply shows another reason why Edmonds would be a uh, really good linebacker if he wanted to make that switch on a 4-3 defense in my opinion um, not only can he play the run like I've shown in some of those previous clips but him covering tight ends and running backs I personally think it's only a handful of tight ends that would give him issues as a full-time guy whereas when you talk about most linebackers you don't like them always covering tight ends because of the mismatch typically but right here Edmonds um, and we'll play it in full speed after that we'll talk about it but like I said man he makes this look super easy and I don't think that this is actually going to be that easy man alright But a couple of things on display right here, man. Um, first off, in terms of his responsibility, him and Amika Fitzpatrick, who's right next to him right there. I just put the little one over him. All right, I'll circle him. There you go. Those two guys have this tight end and the running back, all right? So they're playing it uh, inside out, or you, me. See, excuse me. They're playing it you, me. Whoever is the widest guy, the widest guy, that's who Mika will take. And then whoever is the inside guy or climbing vertical, obviously that'd be the guy that Edmonds takes, all right? So they got the pre-snap communication. You see both of those guys confirming back and forth and on different levels, which I also like. So that way you don't have to worry about the collision potentially between the two guys. But now here we go. You got Edmonds, man, one-on-one -on -one with this tight end, running a, uh, running a corner route, right? And it's a there's plenty of room right here. We know that's an easy throw. That's an easy play. Um, you see it a lot in the NFL. But the thing is this, man. Edmonds stays square, inside out. And now from there, doesn't panic. But he's in position, man. If Sam Darnold were to try to put this ball back here, it's going to be an extremely tough throw. And he's ready to challenge every aspect of it. If Sam tried to beat him front side with the throw, right? Flatten it out instead of having the seven going towards the back pylon, making it almost like a deep out if he wanted to do that. Edmonds is playing this thing low shoulder, ready to break across, okay? And what I mean by low shoulder, ready to break across, I mean like this. He's ready to undercut this thing, okay? But he also is in position, and he's patient enough to understand this, that, hey, quarterback doesn't release the ball on time, right? Scramble, drill, now you have to plaster. And watch him, he's playing basketball with him, he plasters him, but this is the smart thing that I love about Edmonds. He's a super smart player. Let's not play all this back and forth, push him out of bounds. And that's ultimately what Edmonds does at the end. As you can see, two feet out of bounds. Ultimately, Edmonds removes his guy from being an eligible receiver without him ever knowing that it was a sack on the play. But like I said, this is good by him just detailing his work. And this is what Edmonds brings to the table in terms of his consistency and why he has continued to get better each and every season. But I truly feel, man, if he were to be in that box a little bit longer, man, or a little bit more on a, a, a full-time or more expanded basis, I think that he can make a, you know, even more plays now he's a productive safety don't get it twisted he's definitely productive safety but i just think that you know he could definitely do even more with this thing man because of how athletic he is and because of his physical gifts as well but once again man just final time playing it showing him off cover skills smarts at the end of this thing good work but like i said man y'all let me know your thoughts on Edmonds. um do you like him exclusively as a safety would you like him to move to inside linebacker or is it something that you would like to see him as a hybrid? But either way, man, I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.